God did not send his son into the world to be its judge, but to be its savior. Whoever believes in the son is not judged, but whoever does not believe has already been judged because he has not believed in God's only son. This is how the judgment works. The light has come into the darkness. Society is a wave. Anyone who does... The wave moves onward, but the water... Anyone who does evil things is is not... The same order does not come to the light. It's such a but stupid question in my opinion. Enough to, I mean, how person who make up a nation to today, way, next year, die. In true, their experience, you are always said that one to would hardly surprise that your eyes are the same as that person. Yet you balance an eel on the end of your nose. What made you stop? The reliance on government. I'm not good for you, Bella. Don't be ridiculous. Self-reliance. Men have taken away from themselves. The past several minutes long, was it for several centuries, not merely easing the strong relationship of being. Right here. the United States Pledge of Allegiance, as it was in 1953. It included the sentiments of all peaceful, productive, and contributing Americans, and excluded no one. This is the reverse side of a United States dollar bill, as it was in 1953. It also did not overtly exclude the beliefs of any peaceful, productive, and contributing members of American society. This is the motto of the United States, as it was in 1953. It promoted the unity of all Americans in reaching the common goals of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. From 1954 to 1957, during a time when America felt threatened by the Soviet Union, a nation with state-enforced atheism, we changed our pledge, our money, and our national motto. Our fear of being culturally overtaken by the Soviet Union was so strong that we were willing to incorporate explicit references to belief in God into our federal government as part of our national identity, despite the fact that many hard-working and sometimes deeply influential Americans were atheists. Our national symbols now explicitly excluded one group of Americans for the sake of promoting the identities of another. Some have argued that, since atheists are a minority in America, incorporating references to God in our government is acceptable, because it still represents the identities of the majority of Americans. 
But imagine if instead of saying under God, our pledge said one straight nation, which would exclude homosexuals instead of atheists. This pledge also represents the identity of the majority of Americans, but would this be acceptable? The fact that it has been so difficult for us to see this disparity shows that the echoes of polarization that resulted from the Cold War still live on in the public consciousness. But they don't have to. There are so many values that we all agree on. Whether we're atheists, Christians, Muslims, Buddhists, homosexuals, or any other type of American, to imply that any one of us is more patriotic than the others is an insult to all of us. The government that we all create together should promote the values that we all stand for.